You know, I've been getting tired of, of playing a bunch of mods. And I think today, I'm going to be playing just an ordinary game of Hoi 4. Well, you've never seen it like this before? Well, something's wrong. But I think it's just with you. It's all in your head. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's like Crusader King. And today we're back at it again. It is telling me how long I want to perish. So let's do this. Uh, I'm going to do 35 days. And yeah, so... Welcome back, uh, gamers. It is I, Crusader King, and today I'm going to be playing, uh, well, a perfectly normal game of uh, of Germany and Hoi 4. So, without a further ado, I think it's time we do some trolling in the Rhineland. We've got plenty of factories as Germany. You know, we also have our demo. Uh, we have the true Germany right here. We got the best flag in the game. <laughs> and uh you know we're just gonna be trying to go as far as we possibly can taking out as much as possible maybe go a little historical you know for once just an ordinary game where nothing is what it isn't so let's begin this game and also we're gonna need some tires luckily at least in the at least here the problem with this is that the british raj has always just kind of been split off and sadly, you know, Romania and Hungary are all the way over here, which, you know, I have nothing against if they're over there because I will, I do have Austria and Czechoslovakia is here as well. So it's not like I'm going to need them for now. However, we're going to need a little bit of a strategy. And you know what that strategy is, boys? It's making a crack ton of divisions, but uh, so that way we can get some stuff. All right, let's get some, some Panzerkampfwagens. Um... Uh, Hey guys, that's not very cool of you to do. It does seem that the Soviet Union has now got another friend on their side. The Japanese People's Republic. Wow, wowee guys. We already have another uh, an enemy, but no worries. Our pal Benito Salami over here, considering that he's connected to France and owns like a the tiniest bit of Brittany, I think, I think this is going to be way easier, if I'm going to be honest, because, you know... Italy? Italy's gonna be a gamer with us. Sorry. They're gonna be gaming with us. Oh, good God. All right. Anyway, ignoring the fact that we may or may not get bombed, let's get someone here. I'm gonna get a silent workforce so that we can get a little more political power. And I am also going to be training the Navy because, you know, we have this whole part of Central European Sea to worry about. Especially when, you know, the British Raj exists, exists and it's way closer than it is. So, we're going to need to start taking them down. Anyway, my troops are training up and we do have some supplies. So I think it's time we make a new template. And this will be the tiny division. We need to grow up our army fast if we want Czechoslovakia by like 1938. So let's get a lot of these men. We're going to need a lot of them working in the field. We may not have a lot of guns for what we're going to be eventually doing. But I think... 120 sounds right enough so we're gonna be getting some supply trucks we're gonna be lowering the operations and actually let's get a flag you know what we're gonna call it <laughs> the youtube support team all right there we go the youtube support team is being formed they're a spy agency for me and i'm sure that they're gonna do their job of being a youtube support agency so let's just do let's get some good bread here let's get the infantry experts so that way we can start getting a bunch of stuff integration of settlements that's cool if only i had an offshore colony oh wait a minute i have cohensburg oh wait never mind it's not offshore it's connected all right never mind uh, that that i'm disappointed <laughs> all right looks like the second london naval treaty happened but one of my main problems is they uh they have quite a lot of they have quite a lot of compliance over here not a lot of damage to be dealt with we oh whoa a gift from heaven civilian factories baby also there's something wrong with that statement saying a gift from heaven and uh well i'm i'm, I'm kind of the bad guy in this situation pal i don't know if you really want to ally with me chief oh but on the bright side i can immediately do anschluss <laughs> we're going to speed run this one boys all right well it's 1936 about the historical time that we decided to do anschluss so, um, yeah, you know, I'm just going to convince the Austrians to join my side. I'm just going to... There we go. Griefer Jesus enlists in the army. Well, what is this? 
Where is he? Where is Griefer Jesus? You know what, Mr. Griefer? You're right in with the... You fit right in with the rest of us. We're going to be doing a lot of trolling, so try and keep up. There we go. Austria is now mine, and we can start demanding Slovenia. Which... I... Uh, something's wrong here. <laughs> I don't think we can do that for many obvious reasons, but hey, maybe they might give it to us, right? Just maybe, just maybe. But for sure, we're going to start needing to prepare for the invasion of Czechoslovakia. Oh, and this just gave me a bunch of political power. Well, thank you, game. Now I can start getting men. Rise of extreme. Perfect. I actually get a lot more popularity here. Good. Hi. I am the true leader of Memel. <laughs> I'm about to take over more land, gamers. I also got Gran Carabinero, which gives me some extra recruitable population, some consumer goods, and some extra stability. Wow, everything's really just going so well for this man. Very, very, uh, very well for some reason. It's, uh, kind of, it's, it's worrying me. <laughs> Uprising of the, uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Grief for Jesus abandoned us. Grief for Jesus actually abandoned us. He was one of the smartest people on the force. Okay. Uh, emergency problems. Just gonna need to steal my army back real quick. Yeah, that... That's not good because Grief for Jesus was a very smart man. And I hate to see him go. Make puppets of both Croatia and... I'm just gonna annex all of Yugoslavia. Yeah, there, there, there will be no more Yugoslavia. Just, uh, just to let you all know. Because the fate of Yugoslavia happened. And I think that they might have a bit of a civil war, but... Eh, not now. Maybe not ever. Oh, no. No! No! My political power is ruined. No! Uh, what happened with China? China joined China. Why did China join China? The Chinese conference. Okay. At least they now have a leader, Li Peng, who is a... <gasps> He's a crusader! Yes! Oh, and they also kicked the guy, uh, Shek, out. Some Chiang Kai Shek. It does seem that they are teaming with... Micro... Right, Micronesia. They are teaming with Micronesia, guys. The most powerful thing in the world. <laughs> Micronesia. <laughs> That's... What the hell, man? Someone just decided to bomb Nanjing. Wh Why? J oh, crap. Mao's actually a leader as well. Oh, no. Oh, and the Japanese Civil War has ended with the side of the communists winning. Wowee. No one would have ever guessed that one. You must accept different political idea. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, Fucking hell, mate. People are... Oh, boy. That is not very good. Because now... We have to kill quite a lot of people. Oh, what the fuck? Mmm. Maybe it's the thing we need. Uh, so real quick. Just gonna... Just gonna need... It's kind of going downhill. But you know what? Let's just join in the chaos. Yeah, as expected... I may or may not have gotten involved with a war I really shouldn't have gotten involved with. Oh, Luxem- Oh. Uh, Belgium also said yes to that, so, um... Look, as long as the French aren't involved, we should be fine. We should just be... Smooth sailing. Oh, wait, no, Netherlands also joined- Oh, God, it's getting worse. It's ge it's getting larger. Alright, really quick. Need to abandon the French lines. To fight these boys off. They will not take us. We will not be defeated by the Belgians and the Netherlands. I will not allow the Dutch to take me over. And as expected, the French have joined their sides. Okay, so needless to say, we may or may not die, depending on how we look at it. You know, we don't need to be negative. Not now. Definitely not now. We're... You know, most of my army is kind of dead. My land. So, yeah, the Dutch have capitulated, which basically means that all there's left of them 
is a couple of Nordic divisions. <laughs> uh, bye bye, Nords. Sadly, we are uh, we're pretty stretched thin here, but I'm sure we can do a little bit of a of a Dunkirk if we're lucky enough. Ah, it's all it's all historical, guys. <clears throat> Thirty divisions, let's go. Fifty divisions or so are going to go to France, and I think I'm just gonna give you Mr. Sip. Sep is a very reckless man, but I'm sure he's gonna run the country, or I'm sure he's gonna run my military quite smoothly from now on. Nope, I'm going to establish just me for now, because France cannot be trusted. I mean, look at it. It still has Nordic divisions. Let's go, go, boys, rush to Dublin. I have to do. I might have to invade Spain real quick. Let me just get rid of Spain in general. Uh, Spanish, sp the Spanish can uh, can pass. You know, I I'm gonna need to take out Gibraltar so that way I can secure my continental power. Well, at least we're about to get Gibraltar because not much of it's left. And now the whole army just moves here. Quick, boys, attack Gibraltar. Yeah, we're going to need Gibraltar's defense, and it does seem like the New Zealand divisions are actually defending Gibraltar. What a what a strange timeline. But yeah, no, Gibraltar's gone, so essentially they're just kind of stuck here now. Um, <gasps> yes! Oh, wait a minute. That means we have to go... Oh. I mean, I don't want to go to Africa. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Now it's the United Mexican States. I think I'm going to end it here. Germany did take out quite a lot of stuff. And as in every normal game, I really can't do anything beyond just waiting for a coup to happen in, a, in, the United, in Mexico. Either that or I attempt to get El Salvador to just kind of like naval invade Mexico. But that's going to take forever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know I didn't finish the war, but this is about as far as my sanity can take it. We won. All right, we, we got a lot of good bread, so I think we did well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Before this video ends, I'm going to integrate war economies. <laughs> join me, hungry. And together, we will join. Yes, they joined it. I think, yep, that immediately wiped. <laughs> that just immediately wiped pieces them. Maybe Romania as well, perhaps. I don't care. Romania said nothing. They, I guess they just ignored me. But oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you consider liking this video, please consider liking and subscribing. This was a very fun video, and I would like to do another one like these again. So if you did like this video, comment down below. Beyond that, I've been Crusader King, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.